Hey guys, today we're back with a family style vlog video. A lot of you have been asking about our remote learning routine. So today is the day guys, I'm gonna show you how things are going for us. We've got three school aged kids and a baby at home. So things are a little crazy around here, but we're managing. So guys, make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video. And if you're new to our channel, hit the red button to subscribe and don't forget that bell. That way you'll get alerts when new videos are out. So basically for us, our kitchen has kind of become our classroom. You can see the older two kids are right behind me. Their learning station is our kitchen island. And then Bennett's right over here. He's at the kitchen table. It gets a little chaotic, but it works for us. I definitely think the biggest piece of advice I'd give any parents navigating remote learning this fall is have a good internet connection. It is so important and will save you so many headaches. That's why I'm so excited that we partnered up with Verizon 5G. This video is sponsored by Verizon 5G. If you guys aren't familiar with 5G, it is the fastest internet service around. It's the best for your home connection. What's really amazing is it can power multiple devices at once with no problem. For us guys, we have tons of people on tablets, on computers all day. With a fast, reliable service like 5G, you never have to worry about any of your devices being interrupted. And that's important guys, when they're on their Zoom meetings, nothing is worse than when the internet drops guys, because that means they are gonna come running for you, the parents, to fix it. If I can save myself an extra headache, it is so worth it. Right now, if you guys are in Chicago, Houston, or Detroit, you're in luck because Verizon has 5G service available there right now. I'm gonna have a link right down below in the description box. You can click there and check and see if the service is available at your specific address. You can also see if there's any promotions going on. So normally, Bennett does not do his online learning with a million stuffed animals. Do you wanna show them all to everyone? but he is star student today. So he gets to share five special things and he chose all stuffed animals. Oh, he's starting soon. He's got 30 seconds till he starts. And he chose this book. His teacher is gonna read it aloud. Okay, let's go. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, he's like all focused on his countdown. Now let's go. <laughs> 17 seconds, buddy. Okay, grab them all. Are you ready? No. I just think right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. He has been waiting. He's like one of the last students to go, but it's his day and he worked really hard on the special okay. poster here that he gets to present. <gasps> you ready? Okay, stop talking. Okay, stop talking. It's official business. All right, Bennett, you're gonna start with your poster, buddy. Are you ready? All right, go ahead. So Bennett just finished up that Zoom call for his Star of the Week presentation. I think you did pretty good, buddy. Was that fun? Yeah. Do you want to tell him what you earned? Tell him what you earned. Yeah, we gave him a little fun-sized Twix since he did such a good job. So now he's about to hop on his gym call. He's got another Zoom call for that. This year has been a lot more organized as far as remote learning. In the spring, we were kind of a little bit clueless. There wasn't much direction. We had to do a lot more, but now everything is so much better. You can see the twins are right back over here. Ashley's on a Zoom call over here. Alex is working independently on one of his assignments. It is just so much better. And of course, like I mentioned before guys too, good internet connection is key. When there's internet problems, like it honestly drives you crazy. So having a good connection like 5G is so, so important. So this is like the biggest chaotic part of remote learning because we work from home. We're trying to get that done, work on our content and we constantly have interruptions. But Ben, it's so cute. I don't mind, and yes, we have a grocery bag. I'll get it for you. Okay, here you go, bud. You've got your grocery bag, so we can do his gym class now. And then we've got our dog running around. Well, one of our dogs. Our other dog, Bailey, is upstairs right now. It gets a little crazy when he's running around down here while the kids are doing school, so upstairs is better. And Brooklyn is in like what I call her little command center over here. She's got her little jumperoo. She's entertained for now, but this usually only lasts a minute. We've got to like rotate her through stations. She does this, goes on her swing, switch off holding her. What are you doing? Who's that guy? <gasps> she has just been grabbing everything and sticking everything in her mouth. I think she's gonna get some teeth maybe soon or like the beginning stages of teething. 
Right, Brooklyn? Can you jump? Can you jump? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at you. I think what also is adding to a little bit of our craziness is that we're doing some remodeling around our house. There's a lot more we have to do, but we did get the fireplace done. This was like a red brick before. We painted it, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, so Jen helped a lot. She took the brush and just went like this and said, I helped. And I'm like, really? Come on, it was more than that, seriously. But I thought this thing was gonna take an hour and I swear it took like 16 hours. So like my entire weekend was painting, which I did not expect. So like everything else, it just seems to take longer than we anticipate, but we like how it came out. Seriously, you did work really hard. I'll give you credit. He did the whole fireplace himself. I guess my few brush strokes don't count, right? Oh, I'll count them as a few brush strokes. So this was like step one of us redoing this whole area. So walls are getting painted, floors getting ripped out, and uh, whole transformation for the whole thing. But man, if that 16 hours is an indication, it may be a year before we get it done. <laughs> no, but luckily other people are. Yeah, they are. It isn't me. Maybe it's just me. I'm slow. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. It's just a lot of work. That's probably why no one else wanted the job either, right? I don't know what I do with this paper bag. I think you have to watch the video, bud. It'll tell you. It's in there. You just have to watch it the whole time. How? With your eyeballs. I'm just watching it. He's not even saying what I do with a paper bag. I bet you he does. The struggle is real, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have these same remote learning struggles. So Bennett's doing his little exercise video and mystery of the bag solved. It was actually a plastic bag. He needed not a paper grocery bag. So he's got what he needs to finish up his exercises here. I think the remote learning is a lot harder with a little one. Bennett's in kindergarten, so he needs a lot more assistance from mom and dad. Whereas Ash and Alex, you can see, have just been like working nicely. They've been working independently so well. I'm actually really impressed and proud of them, how good they followed their teacher's instruction with everything. You can see Ash is working on a writing assignment right now. Alex was finishing up some reading on the computer. Then he's going to flip to his writing assignment. So yeah. They've been doing awesome. Let me know your experiences. It has seriously been such a blessing having a playset outdoors while we're doing the remote learning. Little Tyke sent us this playset right back here. It's the Wolf Mountain playset. You can get this one at Target or on their website. You can see there's some monkey bars over here. The, the kids are on the swings over here. And what's really cool is you can actually configure this however you want it. So we chose to put the monkey bars right over here, but you can also have the monkey bars on the backside over here. You can check it out on their website. Alex is up top in the clubhouse. A lot of times we give the kids lunch or snacks up there, which is pretty cool. Oh, Bennett's climbing on the side. You can see there's a couple of different ways to get up there. Right over here, there's like a little rope climber. Then there's like an official climbing wall over here, which is pretty cool. Oh, Alex stole the swing. All the kids fight over the swings all the time. I'm sure you guys can relate. I honestly feel really blessed that we have a big backyard with a ton of stuff for the kids to do because they get a little crazy after like sitting inside all day, just like at school, they need recess time. They need gym time. They need to get out here and play. So what are we doing, guys? A little soccer trampoline yeah, jumping? Soccer jumping! Ah! Soccer jumping. <laughs> Love the enthusiasm there. <laughs> Who's winning? Is there any object of this game or is it just totally random? It's random. Random, okay. Well, they're moving their bodies. That's the important thing. Ready? Go! Re Go! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our remote learning routine and how we're managing everything. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget, drop us a comment. Let us know what you want to see next time. Bye guys.